Hello students and hello teachers and welcome to another science online class. So for this day, our topic is about infrared radiation. This presentation is powered by DLSAU Farm, flexible alternative remote modality of learning. Now, infrared radiation. A radiation with wavelength just greater than that of the red end of the visible light spectrum, but less than that of microwaves. So, as we can see in our electromagnetic spectrum, infrared radiation is located in this part. So, infrared radiation has a wavelength from about 800 nanometers to 1 millimeter and is emitted particularly by heated objects. Infrared light is a specific breakthrough that has led to advancement in many fields and applications. Infrared is a type of light whose waves are invisible to human eyes, although electronic devices can detect and glean meaningful information from them. Yan. So, as we use technology, we are using infrared radiation in many forms. So now let's discuss the application or applications of infrared radiation. First is night vision. So infrared can be used to amplify light in a low light situation to enable video recording and image capturing. So some, some channel or, uh, the, or movie producers use this technology to see what is happening in the dark. So we have a trivia here. So night vision goggles are green because the human eye can see more shades of green than any other color. Another application of infrared radiation is thermography. It is uh, used uh, infrared technology to determine the relative temperature of objects by detecting the amount of radiation they are producing. So on the second GIF, we, as we can see, that is a battery which is exploding. Another application of infrared radiation is tracking technology. Infrared can used in tracking technology. Objects, commonly missiles, can be sent to follow a target based on their infrared radiation. Susundan ka ng missile. Meteorology, okay? Weather satellites use infrared technology to determine water temperature and cloud formations. So, by using this technology, we can have weather forecasting. Another application of infrared radiation is art history. Infrared lights can be used to look under layers of painting to determine if there are older layers underneath. So, as you can see, this moving painting is the Starry Night, okay, which is being painted by Vincent Van Gogh in the year 1889. And last application of infrared radiation is heating. Infrared can also be used to create and conduct heat. Infrared saunas have become popular in the physical therapy field. So as you can see here, we have the comparison between infrared sauna and conventional hot air sauna. For the second GIF, that's uh, how the infrared sauna works. So this presentation is powered by DLSAU Farm. Thank you for listening.